Today's build does have something to do with this window frame that I have matched my shirt to. <laughs> <laughs> that was an accident. This was deliberate. <laughs> Today's build is called Window to the Future. Oh. As you can see, we've got a 3D studded box behind here. So there's studs on the back, the roof, the walls. A chance for you to essentially build whatever you like. Could be an object, could be a place. Really an aspect of the future. Brickman, what does the winning build look like? We've often spoken about storytelling challenges. We've spoken about the challenge of, if someone looks at your build, can they clearly understand and see what it is? I'd like you to think about today's challenge as if we were at a, a fancy gallery just titled Window to the Future. You don't know what they are, but when you get there and look through each of those windows, you need to clearly see something super cool from the future. It needs to make sense. To build your window to the future, 12 hours. Oh. Whoa. I'm excited to see what the future brings. We will be there in 12 hours. Time starts now. Good luck. Good luck. Good. How are you guys? Oh, I can't believe they have 1950s windows in the future. This glove has a brick separator, your brick separating needs, some scissors, a bottle opener, a screwdriver, these freaky super strength digital hands, and digital time. So we think we have met the brick by adding as many futuristic elements as possible. It's very Tron and very neon lights, super 80s. And for only three million credits, you're laughing. You gotta glove it. Come on. <laughs> Brickman, are you a potential customer of the Power Glove or are you at least impressed by the ad? You know what? I think I'd shell out three million credits for the Ultra Glove too. It's beautiful. You made it happen simply because of brute force, yeah. of the <laughs> colours that you chose, the wowness, the fact that you went so OTT with it. I mean, the fonts are wicked. They're so 80s future, it's not funny. Way, way cool. But the glove itself is great. It's ridiculous enough with all of these gizmos and gadgets on it. And the thing is, it looks totally and utterly impractical. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. what sells it. Absolutely. The brick That's... separators even, like, <laughs> you couldn't use that. I think if you tried to make it practical, it probably wouldn't work. I reckon that's actually probably the key. That it's it made looks, it plausible. It looks so good, yeah. it's allowed to be funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is great, boys. Well done. Thanks so much. Thank you. Good job, man. That was such a gamble, wasn't it? It was, yeah. One big like, gamble. Like, Brickman had his doubts at the beginning, yeah. but I was just like, nah. I just want to power through. I want to stay true to what we want to do and do it. Because yeah. if it's not fun, why bother? bother? Why don't we start by looking at Nick and Jean? Oh. Fellas, what a glimpse <laughs> into an exciting zero-G future. This is a hoverboard skate park. We've got characters literally hanging upside down by a stud. Hoverboard spinning freely in the air. A huge trail of vapour. A cool cyberpunk-looking girl with a robot arm. She's got bright bubblegum pink hair. This is my favourite character I've ever built. And the skate park looks amazing. I mean, it is a super cool world, no doubt. Looks awesome. Brickman, does Thank this you. work as a glimpse into the future for you? Definitely tick the box of the future. Nothing screams future more <laughs> than fluoro, pink, neon <laughs> colours. And for me, whilst I do love the main character, the one guy chilling out in the back left-hand corner with his hand on his leg, like, yeah, man, I'm <laughs> the coolest floating skateboarder there is. That actually was me at the skate park when I was 15. Can't do anything, but just here. <laughs> yeah, might, might have gotten a half pipe later on the server if the sketch <laughs> frees up. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the cloud. Now, primarily, the reason for the cloud being there is to support the skateboard and the skater. That's the only reason you have a cloud. I think you probably could have minimised it a little bit. 
Sure. That's probably on the scale of things very minor. Yeah. But it's definitely the future. No question of that at all. Um, I'm probably a bit old for that future, <laughs> I'll be honest. Maybe when I was younger, that might have been my future. But we can replace you with robotic parts. Yeah, <laughs> that arm. That's the benefit I of have the that future. Arm, yeah, so that'd be, that'd be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I really like it. I love how you put those fluorescent pink Lego elements yeah. around the light. It really oh, yeah, adds you get a mood to it. You guys change the lighting. Yeah. yeah. That fluoro pink, I think, adds adds a lot of atmosphere to it. I think it stops, boys. Well done. Oh, thank you for that. Really appreciate it. Guys, I mean, 12 hours. Now that we've had a look at the future builds, I can say they look outstanding. Now, I know we don't know if today's an elimination. This is the bit where I do get to tell you. It's not. It's not an elimination. However, it means that every build from now is an elimination. If you win the titanium brick today, you can't get eliminated next episode. It means you make the final four, which is finals week. So it actually makes today the greatest time in the series to win the titanium brick. On that note, I do need to get it back. Thank you, good sir. This is the real brick. He has not switched it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, brick man. Who shall capture the titanium brick of triumph and guarantee themselves a spot in finals week for LEGO Masters 2022? So it came down to two very clear teams in contention today. And the first team I'd like to call forward is... Joss and Henry. Joining them with their stunning glimpse to the future is... Nick and Jean. Here we are again. So, Joss and Henry, when you first laid out to me and said, this is what our idea is, I was very skeptical. Fair. So you had to really literally, pardon the pun, but grab me by the hand today and take me on that journey. You really did. You really did. But what I liked about it today, you had some courage and you really ran with it. It's a cracking build. Thank the you. colour's great. Thank you. So, Nick and Jean, what's different about your build that I really like is you've got all the little scenes around the outside. We've spoken about this many times on the show. It's about grabbing your attention and holding your attention. Those little scenes around the outside really hold my attention. There's lots of little fun stuff in there. Chef's kiss. Oh, <laughs> another one. <laughs> yes. So, today is all about the titanium brick giving off its greatest power that it ever has and taking one team straight through to finals week. And that team today is... Henry and Joss. <laughs> Finals week, we're in. We did it. That's it. <sighs> yeah. Let's go. You won the titanium brick for the first build. Here yeah, she is all these weeks later, getting reunited to take you into finals week. Congratulations. Well done, guys. You earned it. Well, I've got good news and bad news. The bad news is we know we're going to lose teams next episode. The good news is it's in the future. <laughs> again. We're going there again. All right. Well done, guys. You've earned a break. See you next time. Thank you.